ജീവാനന ജിസ്മി ഇൻ ദ കോമെന്റ് സെക്ഷൻ ഹൗ ആർ യു ഡൂയിൻ ആർ യു ഇൻ യൂറോപ്പ് ആർ യു ഇൻ അമേരിക്ക ആർ യു ഇൻ ആഫ്രിക്ക വേർ ആർ യു in any part of the world you are watching me from how are you doing how is your country how is your city how is the weather are you already in summer or winter in your own part just i want to know what is going on how is the family how is work life in general if you already have children how are your children how are they doing my regards to them like tell them that ozitochi is greeting them how is uh, the covid situation in your area just tell me what is your plans for the summer are you traveling are you chilling at home i want to know i want to know how you guys are doing okay for me i'm doing great the weather is beautiful but the heat is like but we are not going to complain because when winter comes we'll be shouting there is too much cold now we are going into summer we have started shouting the heat is too much like human beings we can never be satisfied what we are grateful that we are alive i'm healthy hope is fine everybody is doing great i'm a blessed god there is something very important i want to discuss with you people something that somebody sent me and i'm like let me make a video about it so maybe someone might need it or it might help somebody and it's something that is very very sensitive like I will be reading it for you guys before we start talking about it. I'm going to try and screenshot it so you guys will see it. The person said, "Hi Ozi Tochi, I'm one of your subscriber on YouTube. I know I'm older than you, but I appreciate your wisdom." Oh, thank you so much. I would like to discuss something with you. I just recently found out that my husband has a child outside our marriage. I'm really broken and don't know what to do at the moment. Although he apologized, but I need your advice as I'm convinced you are a child of God. Mm, mm-hmm. thank you so much for your compliment. I really appreciate, guys. Hmm. Like I said, this one is is a big one. When I saw it, my mind just did. Mm. You know one thing in life, guys, it's always easy for human beings to give advice to tell other people that are passing through you know some kind of situation that it is well do it this way don't worry this uh, but <laughs> when you find yourself in some of those shoes you see that eh, it's not easy sometimes that advice that we give some of us we might not even do it yes this is just reality but one thing is that in the midst of everything the truth and what we think is right will be said our prayer is that god will not allow us to you know get into situation that will take the better part of force okay when i started talking with her and the first thing i asked her is was the child born before the marriage started or you know in the marriage like a kind of cheating maybe the man slept with another person why still married to her so she said no with the age of the child the child was born before they got married so the problem here is that the man did not tell the lady that he already has a child with another woman before getting married to her which is for me is it's not right it's something that is is bad if i used to think that is women that normally keep such things eh? i didn't even know that men also keep such things for me i believe there are things you are not supposed to keep away from somebody you are going to spend the rest of your life with yes guys you see eh, in marriage before you go into marriage a lot of us young ladies or men we spend time preparing for wedding for 
the party aspect of marriage but forgetting to prepare for the main thing after your wedding on that day your parents will go your church members will go your pastors your friends will go and it will just be you and your partner ha that is why it is important to do the needful like prepare yourself both of you there are things you are supposed to talk about there are things you are supposed to learn about each other it's not just about hey we are getting married we focus on wedding traditional marriage how i'm going to do bella niger wedding wear the best wedding gown now all those things are beautiful all those things are wonderful but hey, there are things you should spend more of your time doing and that is getting to know yourself better spending time to talk spending time to know each other more when i'm talking about spending time to know each other i'm not talking about spending time to know part of the body because in these days this age knowing each other now is all about knowing the sex part uh, the style he like the style she like i'm going to be winding her up winding her down nah, nah, it's far beyond that see talk about everything you know that can rise up tomorrow in marriage sit down spend time issues like this for example you are a girl you have a child before meeting that person i don't know why people keep such things are you keeping it believing that that person is not going to find out it's not possible there is nothing hidden under the sun there is no way you can hide your child from your spouse but a lot of young people are always afraid scared that maybe if i tell this person that i already have a child the person will run away or the person see it's better the person runs away it's better the person say no i don't want to marry you than keeping it from that person and you know getting married to that person when that person finds out see the first thing is that that person is going to feel deceived like you deceived him or her so things like this are not meant to be kept secret like anybody that tells you to keep such things from your future husband or future wife the person you are in a relationship with that person is deceiving you anything you know that will rise up tomorrow in marriage talk about it don't be afraid of losing that person it's better you lose that person in relationship than losing that person in marriage if that person loves you and that person is willing to marry the person will marry you but if that person is like ah i don't want to marry somebody that already has a child it's not a bad thing everybody is entitled with their own opinion the way they want to live their life and not because that somebody said i don't want to marry this person because the person already has a child you will tag the person as a bad person no 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 everybody there are people that can do this that can marry somebody with a child but there are people that cannot cope and it's better to find out the person you are going into this lifetime journey what that person wants than trying to keep it away and let that person will feel you deceive or you treat him or her if you're watching this video and there is anything you feel like you need to talk about that you think might rise tomorrow and haunt you or take away your peace don't keep it away from that person call the person sit the person down and talk about it i'm telling you if the person loves you enough the person will continue with the marriage so don't because of fear of losing somebody and you you know end up hurting yourself because for the rest of that marriage the person will be feeling that you treat him or her please before you go into marriage talk about everything you need to talk about open yourself to each other maybe you're married and you know you kept such thing from your husband before you got married it is better you call the person and tell the person before that person finds out because when they find out hmm, to trust you again or to believe in you will be very difficult for that person because they will be like so what if i did not find out you wouldn't have told me you would keep deceiving me so if you're already married and you know that there is something like that you are keeping away from that person 
open up call that person and tell the person like pray about it tell the holy spirit to help you if you need to seek advice seek advice if you need to contact people that will help you and talk to that person do it but tell the person it is better you tell the person yourself than the person finding out okay back to this our sister huh at this point like i said it's always easy to give advice when you are not in that person's shoes like i might tell you i understand how you feel i might tell you i know how broken you are how you feel tricked how you feel disappointed but it's only you that knows and god how you are really feeling one thing i can say is just talk to god about it and since it's not like the person cheated on you it already happened before the person met you it's not like uh, the person you know went outside to sleep uh, with another woman probably maybe that person is one of those people that are always afraid of losing the ones they love just i'm going to tell you i know it's not easy let go like let's go and he has apologized he's sorry let's go and and move on let go like that's the only advice i can give at this moment that's the only thing i can say now maybe somebody is watching this video and you're in that situation just pray i know sometimes see forgiveness sometimes is not always easy yeah you see this forgive forgive at times is not always easy at times you need to ask god to give you the grace to forgive because sometimes people say i've forgiven but actually they have not if little things happen that is when you know if this person has really forgiven because when you truly forgive you you will know there is a peace you have but when you say you are forgiving somebody and little thing the person do will piss you off you remember what that person you have not forgiven so in this case you need the grace of god to you know forgive let go and stop seeing your husband like he tricked you or he deceived you or you cannot trust him again just forgive and move on forgive and move on i believe in sharing your past with your husband to be or your wife to be yeah that is my belief i don't know your belief and it helps it gives you peace like something cannot just arise tomorrow you already told that person i believe it but when i'm talking about sharing your past or telling your your husband or your wife to be about you i'm not saying that any man maybe i still single and any man that comes to me and say i love you you open up start telling everything you know my father used to in our house eh, there was a land that we owned they collected it you know eh, me and my sisters we used to fight any man that just say hi you open up mm -mm. You know when a man is serious or when a lady is serious when you know you know that everything is happening that is the time to sit down tell the person things you know that that person needs to know about you so tomorrow is not going to come up and haunt you I repeat it is very it gives peace of mind but for some people when you are doing it sometimes it might not be easy especially when you have had a kind of a rough part nobody's judging you no I'm not judging you it might not be easy but the peace you will have after doing it will be greater than those fear and in your marriage you will have peace somebody cannot come up or something cannot come up and you are afraid so it gives peace it gives peace talk about it i have children i have 13 children in kenya i have what tell the person if the person love you if the person loves you the person will go ahead with the marriage so my sister that's reached out to me or maybe somebody that is in similar situation just let go since he has apologized let go and and move on so that's all i have to say i hope you learned one or two things from this video if you feel that this video is going to help somebody if you feel that people need to watch this video share this video with your friends give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i'm going to see you when i'm going to see you with another wonderful video remember tell me how you are doing i want to know i'm going to see you guys in my next video have a wonderful day bye